I'm off tonight for another little car camp. Yards at the roundabout. Continue straight onto King Edward Road, oh. A50. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm off tonight for another little car camp. Not really sure where I'm going this evening. Um, I am... It's like half past four. I've been driving for like half an hour or so. I was driving down the M6 and then I just thought I'm going to just come off the motorway. <laughs> and just head east a little bit and just sort of see where we end up oh, there's a beautiful um what is it called thatched roof pub in front of me i'll show you the white bear isn't that cute so yeah as i was saying don't really know where i'm going um i've just set like a point on the map that i don't know it's kind of near where did I put it? A place called Leek, I think, or somewhere like that. Um, <laughs> I found a few park ups on Park for Night around that area, so I figured I would just kind of head over that way. I think is my well, that's where I'm heading right now. It could change. It's a glorious evening. I'm travelling at rush hour, which was really stupid. It was unavoidable because I had some other commitments at home, but. Um, yeah, it's a glorious evening. I really wish I was at my park up and could just be enjoying the sunshine because it's absolutely glorious. It does say I've got 41 minutes, 41 minutes, 20 miles until I get to wherever I've put a pin in the map. I am just car camping for one night. I'm meeting a friend um, tomorrow and we're going to go camping at a campsite. So just for tonight, some car camping. I'm a bit loaded up this time as well because I'm doing camping tomorrow. A campsite. I've got like chairs and fridge and fridge things that is just like yeah, it's a bit car's a bit full. So when I get to wherever I'm going, I'm gonna have a little bit of a reorganise and stuff because I feel quite loaded down with things. But this is fun. Sat in the slow traffic. Where am I? Maybe I'm Macclesfield. I don't know. I've no idea where I actually am. Knutsford. That's where I am. In Knutsford. I'm about, I don't know, 10 minutes or so away from where I dropped my pin. This does look like we're heading into the middle of nowhere. Which is good, which is good. It's definitely middle of nowhere territory. It's kind of single, single way and we're having to keep stopping. I don't have to do any reverse and I hate it when I have to reverse. On single track, <laughs> single track roads. Danger, big holes. Oh, bloody hell. It is getting hilly and pretty. I hope it's hilly and pretty where I'm going to. There's my pin. This is where I am. I don't know about this. Well, we'll just keep going and see what we what we stumble across. It looks like there's water there, reservoir or something. I don't know. On the map, anyway. Your destination is on the left. Oh, okay. Or oh, maybe this was the park up. Actually, I think this was the park up. Where am I? Hang on, hang on. Welcome to Ruyard Lake. Can I drive through there? Where am I? I don't think this is where I'm going to park up. Oh no, it's, cl it's closed. Okay. Okay, let's back up and park up here. I'm pretty sure this isn't my park up for the night, but I'm, I've just parked up for now. I'm going to go and have a little wander. See where I am? See if I can get through there. I don't even know. I think I might put some window coverings on and stuff um, here before I move to my next um, my next place. Oh, look at this little robin. It's coming. Where's he gone? It's coming right over to me. Hello. How cute. Look at this car. It's so freaking... <laughs> I've got so much stuff. I need to sort it out. I'm going to put it all in the front seat. I've, I've just put the um, 
There's chaos in this car. I've just put the back, the back one on. I've not put the curtains up yet. I'm gonna go for a little wander down here. See what there is before we move on. Try and find a spot for the night. To be honest, this looks pretty rubbish. It just looks like a big long path to nowhere. There's a gate I want to get through here. I'm not allowed. It's locked. Oh, it's nice through there. What a shame. What is it? Oh, it's a caravan park. No public access to the lake. Well, that's a shame. I guess I'll just head back then. <laughs> I'll put up some window coverings and then find somewhere to park up, I think. I'll have a look on park for night. See what's around. I think that location where I've pulled in, I think that was on park for night. It's like a spot. Which should be alright, to be honest. Nice, quiet spot, but... I don't know. I want somewhere different. Well... This place was a fail. Moving on. I reckon I found somewhere on park for night. Roach Road. Looks nice, hey? Problem is, well, I'm trying to find. Oh, maybe I've got signal now. I've not had signal. We need to head out a little bit. I hope I can find a spot, like, up high a little bit here. It's really nice. Whoa, this is a hill. Oh, I'm turning here. Upper Hulm. Upper Hulm. Apparently that's where I'm going. I feel like I've been here before. This looks really familiar, like I've walked down here. I, I mean, I don't know. Where am I going? I was going to say there's a little waterfall. This really does look familiar. Well, cute. Hang on. I have been here. I've dropped lava off. I'm sure I've dropped Lara off for something here. Where am I going? Oh my goodness, I don't like this. Where is this taking me? <laughs> oh Christ, I've started now, I'm gonna keep going. Flipping it. I've got a feeling, I don't know if you can see it, there's a bow of cars up there. Or here. This would do. Let's go up there and have a look. And then if not, I'm going to come back and park here. Oh, what a nice spot. All right, I'm thinking, look at this view. I think this is going to be my spot. I'm going to, there's loads of cars here at the moment. I assume there are people like walks and having walks or whatever, because there's nothing around here. I don't know whether they're all good. There's a couple of campers, so I feel alright. Like I've talked before about like parking like remote places. I don't want to be like just the only car here. That feels a little bit unsafe. But if there's other campers and things, that feels alright. But I'm going for a little wander. It's lovely. It's very pretty. Anyway, yeah. Put my put my window coverings on first, and then a little walk. Oh, I'm actually really hungry. I'll cook some food. I did just bring like a salad with me. I have to eat my salad, like a bean salad thing. I'm gonna eat that first. Windows first. Hang on, I'm being indecisive. Windows first, then food, then wander. All my windows are on. Can you tell? I've got my bean salad. Tea with a few. Oh god, that was delicious. I'm gonna go for a wander now. How nice is this place? Hello. Oh. Welcome to the Roach. 
Tschüss. This place is cool. Oh, I think we're doing rock climbing. They are, maybe. mark this on my google maps i have like a little map so if i find like a very nice spot that i like i just uh, mark it off so that i'll know as much as i don't like going back to the same places it's nice that if you're in the area you, you know you know you've got a, a good spot that you've been before so i'm definitely gonna put this one on my map it's stunning i think i am now gonna get ready for bed it's only quite early and I kind of want to see sunset, but I think it could be a good one. I've kind of closed. I've got that that um, what are they called? Curtains. I've got the front one on, but I haven't got this one on. I really like it that this is my sitting side, and it's like right next to a wall. Like no one's gonna walk past there because it's full of nettles. So I like that. I'm gonna get my pajamas on. It's quite warm. I might need to crack a window. To be honest, I might crack this one and lie in bed and look out that way because I'll be able to see sunset. I've forgotten my um <laughs> my bag. I just phoned Stephen back at home. He's like, "Is my bag on the table there?" And he's like, "Yep. It's got like my iPad in with like my downloads and like you know to watch something." And my charges and stuff so that's a bit of a pain but luckily i've got my bluetti battery that well actually it doesn't matter because i have got my phone charger from the car but the bluetti has got wireless charging on the top anyway so it would have been all right for my phone but that was a bit silly because i've downloaded something that i wanted to watch tonight i can't remember what it was a movie or something i'm a little bit worried about the toilet situation i've obviously got like my emergency things fit in the car um but i'm obviously a long long way away from a toilet so i just have to manage the best i can i'm a little bit squashed as well i feel like i'm having a little bit of a moan but i'm a little bit squashed because i've brought the fridge and i have to bring two chairs and things for the camping tomorrow it's a little bit a little bit tight back here well it always is a little bit tight but it's even more tighter than usual it's raining out there i've got to say i'm a little bit worried like usually I keep the front seat completely empty because <laughs> obviously it's on show. I'm a little bit worried that I've got all this stuff here but I don't know what I can really do about it. <laughs> I'm just getting into bed every time. I forget just quite how tight it is. This feels even tighter than usual. I've got a feeling yeah, oh, I usually push the passion, passion, oh, that's not easy to say, passenger seat forward and I haven't, so I've lost like, oh, I'm, I'm going to have to get out and change it. Maybe I'll be alright. I'll lie a bit diagonally or something. Hmm. I think it'll be okay. I've probably got too much stuff in the front, to be honest, to be able to move it forward with like the chairs and the fridge and all that. Oh, what a cool park up this was. And it's gotten quite a bit later now, you can probably tell from how dark it is. It's about quarter to ten-ish or so. I've just been on my phone. Um, I'm going to get to sleep now because I'm feeling quite tired. Good night. i see you in the morning. Can you hear that noise? That animal. I don't know what it is. <laughs> They've been making such a racket since like half past five. It's about seven o'clock now. I had a really good sleep. 
I was a little bit squashed with the whole um, seat that I didn't move forward, but it was alright. Only I put like once, I think, for like midnight. And I've slept through till this bloody thing. <laughs> it's such a nice day out there. Oh, I am gonna get up. It's like 28, and I feel like I want to go for a little walk. So that's what I'm gonna do. I slept in shorts last night, and I wasn't cold, so that's good. gonna throw whatever on and then um, in a little bit after I finish my walk I'll go and find somewhere like, you know, like a toilet and somewhere where I can clean my teeth and wear although I, I could just do it here I guess clean my teeth I mean Amazing is this to wake up to. My car is just behind that van. Oh, I love car camping. Oh, there's some donkeys down there. Oh, right, I'm on the move. I was gonna have my breakfast and stuff, but I've changed my mind. Instead, I am gonna head to the closest supermarket. I've just found an Asda, 11 minutes away, so I'm gonna go there and toilet and freshen up and stuff. <coughs> oh, it's such a nice night. I don't really want to leave here. This is a problem with staying in nice remote places. You kind of got to leave in the morning to toilet and things like that. Got to get rid of all this condensation. That'll do. It's just so stunning. Look at that. It's a gorgeous morning. It's gonna be a good day. I'm pretty sure. Look, here's a camper. They stayed here last night. So this is where, you know when I was driving through yesterday, I was like, oh, this is well familiar. I've been here before. <clears throat> it is, I remember where it was now, and it makes sense. Lara came to like a weekend, like an adventure weekend, and I dropped her off one of these places can't don't know which one it was one of these places here but that makes sense now I've seen like the the rock climbing and stuff I'm confident that this is the place that's a random that I just kind of stumbled across the same place it's so pretty I've got a bad feeling that this Asda oh it's just a little Asda and might not have toilet I don't know, we'll go and see. No, I don't think it's got any. Oh. No, no toilets, but on the map there is Morrison's, just six minutes away, so let's try that. I just have a look actually, this, it's got a cafe at this Morrison's, so I'm pretty confident <clears throat> that it will have a toilet. Blip and neck. This is when a chore trying to find the entrance to the car park to this Morrison's. But we are finally here. Yeah, this is gonna have toilets, I'm pretty sure. Perfect.
I am all freshened up, been to the toilet, cleaned my teeth, brushed my hair, and I am now going to, I'm not sure, to be honest, what I'm going to do this morning, mooch around somewhere. I'm kind of near, kind of Stoke-on-Trent, that's like the nearest big city. Um, but I, I'm going to a campsite this evening, so I need to first find a campsite, I need to book one, I'm uh, meeting a friend there. So... I need to do that. The weather's turned a lot bit, which is a bit of a shame. It's been raining for the last sort of hour or so. Hopefully it gets a bit sunnier. It doesn't say on the weather that it's gonna be raining, so hopefully it, like it's just that's it now and it'll the sun will even if the sun doesn't come out, I'm not I do want the sun to come out. Anyway, um I think I'm gonna end it here because I'm just gonna be trying to find a campsite and then probably if hopefully I can find a campsite that I can get to early. So I can just go and head there. Um because I can't really be bothered to do anything else today, if I'm honest. Other than just head straight over to the campsite. Anyway, I had a wonderful evening. Um, car camp. That place was just perfect. It was spot on. Thank you so much, by the way, for like people people like message me and leave comments and like tips and suggestions about both about car camping and like places to go. I really do appreciate it. Every time I get a suggestion again, I like I mark it on my map for a future for a future place. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. Just quickly before I go, just, I've just arrived at the campsite. I just wanted to give you a little show of where I'm staying tonight. This is the car. I'm just kind of setting things up. I'm having some problems, to be honest. I mean, it's not sunny anymore. But I've just, I don't know, my bluetti. I'm having problems with my bluetti. But this is it. There's um, toilets and showers and things up there. There's a pub as well. It's nice. Anyway, that was all. Just wanted to show you. I need to get back to trying to fix my um, bluetti now. I like I plugged my fridge in, for, like it was on like ninety percent, and I plugged my fridge in for like five minutes, and it's dead. I don't know what's happened. Anyway, I'll get on trying to sort that. <laughs> I'll see you in the next one. Bye.